This apartment building is in ruins. It is the aftermath of a Russian attack in the Ukrainian town of Zaporizhia. It took place at dawn as people were sleeping. Emergency services worked to try and rescue people from the rubble. It was dark, around five in the morning. We woke up because of a strong explosion, and then there was smoke in our room. I thought that the explosion must have happened in our yard. Russian forces carried out a series of attacks on the town, raising fears of a threat to the nearby nuclear power plant. Rafael Grossi, the director general of the International Atomic Energy Agency, is heading to Kyiv for talks on securing a protection zone around the plant. He will then visit Russia for talks. He says operating staff must be able to fulfill their safety and security duties and have the capacity to make decisions free of undue pressure. Tension over the plant persists with the Russian President Vladimir Putin decreeing that it is Russian property. That move is rejected out of hand by Ukraine. Ukraine's foreign ministry called the Russian decree a criminal act and considers it null and void. Ukraine's state nuclear operator, meanwhile, says it will continue to operate the plant.